Hey folks, welcome back to another rousing edition of Portal 2. Guess who's back? It's me, and it's you. Let us begin! Let's, uh, let's continue that game. That I worked so hard to get very far in. As you can tell from my attire, it is a different day. So there's a new session. This is why it's good to have webcams. People don't know this, but that's why. So... Uh, without further ado, let us, uh, let us return to the condemned keep, keep out -y, do not enter -y portion of the laboratories. We're going up for this one. Upwards and outwards, as people like to say. All the damn time. So, uh, caution, do not fall down elevator shaft. Yeah, well, I'll try. Uh, let's see. Let's go there, and let's go there. I did it. Yeah. Alright, so I need to uh, I need to get over to that area. I need to go through the, the orange one. Uh, but to do that, I need to... Uh, I need to uh, do some falling. And clearly, I can't fall from here. So I'm going to, I'm going to fall. I'm going to fall down the, 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 the shaft that they told us not to fall down. Shoot the blue one. Yep, I did it. What does this say? If you've cut yourself at all in the course oh. of these tests, you might have noticed that your blood is pure gasoline. <laughs> That's normal. We've yep. been shooting you with an invisible laser that's supposed to turn blood into gasoline. So all that means is it's working. I did it. You succeeded. You turned you turned me into a motor vehicle. That's all I've ever wanted in life. If you need to go to the bathroom after this next series of tests, please let a test associate know. Because in all likelihood, whatever comes out of you is going to be cold. <laughs> Only temporary, so do not worry. If it persists for a week, though, start worrying and come see us because that's not supposed to happen. Okay, so fucking gasoline, blood, cold, pee. Just a heads up, we're going to have a superconductor turned up full blast and pointed at you for the duration of this next test. More power. To be honest, we're throwing science at the wall here to see what sticks. No idea what it'll do. <laughs> Probably nothing. Best case scenario, you might get some superpowers. Worst case, some tumors, which we'll cut out. Yep. Something on fire. Nothing better be on fire. Okay. So we need to go there. For reasons not really described, nor really cared about. So let's do that. Let's do that now. Get down. Eee. Okay. So, now that that's settled, let us begin our descent. To madness. Get fucked, gravity. Open up. Ooh. Shiny. Okay, so what's through here? Clearly, you need to know your allergens, which is pollen, animal dander, plastics, and antimatter. Which, you know, in our solar system, there isn't a lot of. So, you know, good... Good, uh, good deal. Flip the switch. Pump the station. Let's station pump the, the station of alphas. And then head, what, down? Go down. See what's down here. It's very loud. Oh, yeah. That's what I forgot. Last game, the sounds were very loud. Let's let's turn down the master volume just a little bit. Let's turn that down and that down. Because I remember I was watching back and I was just like, wow, that's really loud. Like, I thought it was loud, but damn, that's loud. So hopefully, uh, problem solved. Because I can't tell right now. All I know is... Fucking shit was loud. And now it's less so. Alright, so clearly I need to go upward and outward and forward and sideways and all the, all the words. Sidewords. Yeah, uh, yes, I did it. Okay, let's uh, fucking put you there, put you there, and voila! Haha! -ha. I have succeeded. Okay, so now I'm up here, and uh, we're let's see. That's the that's the salt wall. Salt word. They say great science is built on the shoulders of giants. 
Not here. At Aperture, we do all our science from scratch. No hand-holding. I like this guy. He knows what's what. He's like, hey, we don't need your help. We'll make our own science. And it'll be better than yours. It'll have blackjack and hookers and fucking sandwiches. And bottles of water, because bottles of water are the best. Don't get me wrong, they are phenomenal. So we're headed now. Ah! All right, let's get started. Okay. The first test involves something the lab boys call repulsion gel. You are here. You're not part of the control group, by the way. You get the gel. Okay. Last poor son of a gun got blue paint. <laughs> All joking aside, that did happen. Broke every bone in his legs. Tragic, but informative. Or so I'm told. Should you be telling me about different groups and such? Oh, never mind. Here, hold on. Remember, the test is unsolvable without an Aperture Science portable quantum tunneling device. If you have not received one, please find a test associate before participating in any Shaft 09 enrichment activities. Consult a doctor. Okay. Repulsion gel, the Aperture's first attempt at create a diabetic dietic putting substance suit. It's true, the gel is sweeter, slightly less non-toxic form of fiberglass insulation that causes subsequent ingested food items to bounce off the linings of the dieter's distended stomach and out of his or her mouth. For various reasons, the product is pulled from shelves, including but not limited to always throwing up everything you eat. People die when that happens. Don't throw up all the time. Oh, that opens the door. Okay. So, I want the cube, which is attached to... Somewhere. There's a button somewhere. Whoa. Yeah, I really like the music that plays with the, uh... With the, uh, the jumping. Like, listen to that. Like, It's like some, uh... Friggin' Alice in Wonderland and stuff. The lab boys just informed me that I should not have mentioned the control group. Yeah, that doesn't sound like a good thing. I stop making these pre-recorded messages. That gave me an idea. Make more pre-recorded messages. <laughs> I pay the bills here. I can talk about the control group all damn day. Oh, fair enough. You are the one in charge. You uh, clearly have paid every bill, and therefore you have skills. Okay, this is a question. Why is there two tiny? typewriting offices in the middle of the friggin testing thing that makes no sense at all who would walk from their home to there just to type at a computer or well a, a, a typewriter who would do that for this next test we put nanoparticles in the gel in layman's terms that's a billion little gizmos that are going to travel into your bloodstream and pump experimental genes and rna molecules and so forth into your tumors cool now, maybe you don't have any tumors. Oh, well, I mean... Worry. If you sat in a folding chair in the lobby and weren't wearing lead underpants, we took care of that, too. Well, what if I didn't want you to put tumors in me, huh? Think of that. Bet you didn't. Clearly, I don't want a tumor in me. Or even multiple of that. So, you, you done goofed, my friend. You done fucked up. You gave me something I didn't want. You ignored my protest and be like, hey, I don't want to have tumors in me. And you're like, well, we gotta put tumors in you. That's, that's how science works. And I'm like, maybe that's not how science works. Do you ever think of that? And you're like, oh, well, we did, but fuck you. And I'm like, oh, no. Ah, yes, the walls. The walls. The walls are a sound. A sound of which we pay our tribute to. By the way, I hope you enjoy my ramblings. Cause there ain't going, they ain't going anywhere. Oh my god, this is the slowest. This is the slow. Let me out. Let me out of the ride. I don't want to be here anymore. No, I didn't jump good enough. Eh, thank you. Uh, oh yeah, here, here we go. Wee. <laughs> Oh, in case you got covered in that repulsion gel, I here's some advice the lab boys gave me. Do not get covered oh. in the repulsion gel. That's good. We haven't entirely nailed down what element it is yet, but I'll tell you this, it's a lively one, 
and it does not like the human skeleton. Well, if it were, if I recover it in the stuff, then it wouldn't get to my skeleton. It'd have to go through my skin first. You're not thinking right. You gotta calm down and imagine the bigger picture of stuff going on. Because clearly, it, it ain't. And you don't know. You don't know me. You know how I'm, what I'm covered in. It's a hoodie. This is this is what I'm covered in. All these science spheres are made of asbestos, by the way. Ooh. Keeps out the rats. Nice stuff. Let us know if you feel a shortness of breath, a persistent dry cough, or your heart stopping. Because that's not part of the test. That's asbestos. Asbestos, man. Good, good stuff. Symptoms of asbestos poisoning show a median latency of 44.6 years. So if you're 30 or older, you're laughing. Worst case scenario, you miss out on a few rounds of canasta. Plus, you forwarded the cause uh, of science by three centuries. But I love I Canasta. Into my calculator, it makes a happy face. Canasta is... I don't know what the fuck that is, actually. <laughs> to be perfectly honest. Yeah, I'm just skipping by, because I already know what the fuck the, the areas to go are. Ah, Whee! I like your style. You make up your own rules, yep. just like me. I wrote them down. I couldn't fire a man just for being in a wheelchair. Oh. Did it anyway. Ramps are expensive. Well, why didn't you just make his wheelchair better then? So I can don't get ramps, get better wheelchairs. That seems like a bad thing. I don't count beans, but I am with people who agree that, you know, people with wheelchairs need help. They need the ability to do things. I like the ability to do things, and if I couldn't, that would be sad. Clearly, I need that, and so do other people. I assume other people want the ability to do stuff. And slam. Okay. Come on and slam, and welcome to the gym. Come on and slam, and welcome to the gym. Oh, yeah. There we go. Perfect. Bounce and bounce and bounce and bounce and bounce and let's get it figured out now. Let's do the things now. Perfect. Okay, so what I want to do now is do this. Whee! Booyah! Just a heads up. Get fucked. We gave you earlier had fluorescent calcium in it, so we can track the neuronal activity in your brain. A good thing I didn't drink There's any. There's a slight chance the calcium could harden and vitrify your frontal lobe. Oh. Anyway, don't stress yourself thinking about it. I'm serious. Visualizing the scenario while under stress actually triggers the reaction. Well, that's not good. I mean, I just don't drink coffee, but goddamn, fucking get better coffee drinkers. My brain's exploding into solidified calcium and shit. That ain't normal. That ain't good either. Welcome to 1958, friends. Now, if you're part of control group Kepler-7, we implanted a tiny microchip about the size of a postcard into your skull. Most no. likely you've forgotten it's even there. Okay, but if well. it starts vibrating and beeping during this next test, let us know. Because that means it's about to hit 500 degrees, so we're gonna need to go ahead and get that out of you pretty fast. Good thing I don't do any of this. Okay, so that is a good amount of time. And booyah. 23 seconds, I assume. I'm telling them, keep your pants on. All right, this next test may hmm. involve trace amounts of time travel. So, word of advice, if you meet yourself on the testing track, don't make eye contact. Lab boys tell me that'll wipe out time entirely. Forward and backward. So, do both of yourselves a favor and just let that handsome devil go about his business. Handsome. I am handsome. Thank you, sir. Am 
Okay, my goal is to get up there, but I need to do something else first. Okay, now that I got that settled. Woo! I didn't do it. Aw, uh, yeah. Let's go up there and go up there. That's better. That's the thing I thought would happen when I started this out. Boom! Screw it. <gasps> I see myself down there doing time travel things. I wish that they did actually in, in, incorporate that. I know it wouldn't make sense, but it'd probably require a lot of stuff. There's actually a Portal 2 mod that does... It's called Thinking with Time Machine, which I will play. But it, uh, it does require... Uh, or not require, but it does utilize some uh, time travel stuff, which is pretty cool. Oh, that was wrong. Let's go! And that one's blue, so let's go orange. Whee! I did it! I did it. Most of this game is just following where the portal walls are. She's like, well, I mean, this is if the way to go. This, it means you're taking a long time. Hey, catwalks, screw you, catch. buddy. The lab boys say that might be a fear reaction. That's an exploration oh, reaction. Matters, but coming from a bunch of eggheads who wouldn't recognize the thrill of danger if it walked up and snapped their little pink bras, that sounds like projection. They didn't fly into space, storm a beach, or bring back the gold. No, sir, we did. It's you and me against the world, son. I like your grit. Hustle could use some work, though. Now let's solve this thing. That's called explorey. Gloriness. Alright, so now this is the hardest part of this entire game. Is catching this piece of shit from fucking bouncing around. Yes! I did it! Ha! Suck it! There we go. Now we gotta get some of, uh, some of that right there. Look at that. Bouncy. Oh no, I'm covered. Oh, oh my skeleton. Ah, it's eating my skeleton. Alright, let's, uh, let's get you up over there. Let's get you right there. There we go. And that's how you solve that. Sometimes I want all the glass to break, but that's just not gonna happen. Science isn't about why. Why not? It's about Why? screw you, rules. Why not marry safe science if you love it so much? In fact, why not invent a special safety door? You know, that's legal you now. You can marry safe science. You are fired! Now you test subject, you're doing fine. Yes, you. Box your stuff. Out the front door. Parking lot. Car. Goodbye. Marrying safe science is now legal in all of the states. But hey, that's uh, that's about all the time I got for today. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I've been Kiwi. You've been great too. And have a nice day. It's it's nice out there. You see you see the sun behind my flag. It's good. It's nice. Have a good day.